first thing we need to do is to map the English words of each conjugamus vocabulus to its corresponding Spanish word. So first, we got to pick our favorite conjugamus vocabulus. Today, I'm going with clothing adjectives. Go to the flashcards and copy everything. Now, go back and create a new text file and paste everything in. So now we can create a dictionary that maps each English word to its corresponding Spanish word. So we can open up the vocab.txt file with, with open vocab.txt and we're going to specify the encoding to be UTF-8 and we can name this as anything we want, vocab file. Now we're going to iterate through the file for each line in the file. This is printed first. So we get what we get. Why is it not printing? There we go. We get whatever is in here. So now we got to do some work with regular expressions to split the English word from the Spanish word. So we import regular expressions. We split it using split method. It takes in a regular expression. We can say as it's a delimiter. So we can say if there's a tab, which is every time uh, it separates between the English and the Spanish word, there's a tab, or a new line. So when I copied it in, there was a new line character uh, on each line. So we got to split that off too. Or the forward slash. So sometimes there's a masculine or a feminine version of the same Spanish word. So we got to split that off. So let's see the result of that. Actually, we got to pass in the string. So now you have a list of the line split up according to the delimiters. And as you can see, some of the Spanish words have been split up into its masculine and feminine versions. So what we can do is take the vocab, uh, take the dictionary of vocab as its key, put in words at index zero, which is always the English word. And as its value, we put in words at index one, which is the next item in the list, which is either the only Spanish word or, in this case, the masculine, it looks like. Let's test if it works. Let's print out vocab. And it looks like it's mapping everything correctly. Let's test vocab at uh, narrow. And Okay, it looks like it's working. So we've mapped the English words to Spanish words. Next, we have to get the relevant region of the screen. So what that means is whenever you are in here, we have to grab this rectangular region of the screen because that's where the English word is located. In order to do that, we have to find its top and leftmost coordinate of this region and 
the bottom and rightmost corner. We can do that with pi auto GUI, which is a module that you can pip install. So while you can do a infinite loop to print the position of our cursor using pi auto GUI dot position. And then it's gonna go on forever, so let's sleep for a second every time it reads the position. Let's import sleep. So we let's run this. It's gonna print out to the console and X is 367, Y is 460. 367 and 460. Right. Let's look at the bottom and right most corner. X is 1449, Y is 552. Okay. 1449, 552. Alright. So now that we have the relevant region, we can check that off. Now, here, okay, so we have to recognize the English word. We can do this by taking a screenshot and then converting that screenshot into its into a string. So first take a screenshot using image using pi auto GUI's uh, I think it's screenshot method which takes in a region which is takes in the x coordinate of the top most uh, of the top left corner the y coordinate of the top left, the width, and the height of the rectangle. So let's set these variables x and y, we already have, and the width is just the x coordinate of the right corner minus x coordinate of the left corner. Same idea with the height. Oops. Okay, so we've taken a picture of this rectangular region. What we want to do now is to convert the image to the corresponding string. We can use uh, pi tesseract. import that. So you have to first install this from its GitHub website or GitHub page and then pip install it. And then lastly you have to specify its path since it doesn't add itself to its path automatically. So find uh, the Tesseract OCR folder or directory in your program files or wherever you install it. Copy the path. Uh, make sure there's an R. And then test, tesseract.exe. So that takes in the .exe file. I think that's what it's called. Yeah, so now we have PyTesseract imported. We can get the English word from PyTesseract that image to string. It takes in the image. Uh, let's make it lowercase. And let's print the English. 
Cool. We should say medium when we run this. It does say medium. Okay, we've recognized the English word. Oops. Now, let's just print out the Spanish version. So, if you put in the English version into the dictionary, we get out the value. Let's see if that works. Okay, so there's an error because when PyTesseract reads the image into a string, it also adds all this stuff. So let's split by new line character and then take whatever is before that. So let's run this again. And it says Mediano. Okay, so we still have to enter the Spanish word into here. In order to do that, we have to import keyboard. So we have to pip install that. Now, what we do is keyboard dot, what is it? Press, or no, type. Yes. Where is the string? Um, let's see. Right, okay. So keyboard dot right. Um, the English word or the Spanish word, and we put in the English into the dictionary. We want to write it into this thing, and then we have keyboard dot press and release the enter key to enter it. So let's do all of this stuff after we do keyboard wait until we hit the escape key. So this stuff will activate when we press escape. So let's run this. See it's waiting until we press escape. We press escape. It enters Mediano and presses enter. So it looks like we're almost done. We just have to put it all together. So let's to a while loop and then let's do all of this at the time this loops we're going to press enter and then we're going to sleep a second or a tenth of a second so Kahugamus doesn't die So let's press escape and it should work. So there you go. There is a kind of game with spot. It's not very fast since it's kind of bottlenecked by the rate at which kind of game was can show its new word. So there you go.